There are some really solid new color page based effects that have been added to Resolve 14 as well. And one of the most useful ones is an updated stabilizer. So I'm in the tracker palette, I've chosen the stabilizer mode. And the new stabilizer takes the place of the old stabilizer, but the old stabilizer is still available because it does have a few advantages still. To access the old stabilizer, you want to choose Classic Stabilizer from the Stabilizer option menu. And that takes you back to the old stabilizer with all the old stabilization modes. But with that turned off, you're getting the new stabilizer. And the new stabilizer is pretty easy to use. Basically, you just click the button. Now, depending on how much work has to be done to stabilize the clip, you do have options. So down here at the bottom, there is a pop-up that lets you choose between perspective, similarity, and translation. And basically, perspective does perspective, pan, tilt, zoom, and rotate all at once. It tries to really smooth out everything. Similarity just does pan, tilt, zoom, and rotation. And translation just does pan and tilt. Depending on the results you get with perspective, if they don't work, you're getting too many artifacts because perspective's too hard to smooth, you can try similarity. And if the zoom and the rotate causes too many problems, then you can switch to translation. So starting with perspective, I've got a really garbagey shot. This was a camera test I did for a uh, VFX background plate for a, a window replacement shot. I wasn't actually expecting to be able to use this. If I play through, you'll see why. It's just jittering all over the place. It's a, it's a terrible shot. Really, just awful. And to be honest, I didn't expect to be able to smooth this out at all. However, if I go ahead and click the Stabilize button, DaVinci Resolve starts analyzing this clip. So this new stabilizer takes a little bit longer to do its analysis, but we'll just go ahead and fast forward this little section of video for your benefit. And here we go. And so now that I've got that stabilization analysis finished, I'll play through. And you can see that the result is incredibly smooth. I was really shocked the first time I tried this out. And by the way, I can turn on bypass stabilization to see how it was before. So if you just want a quick reminder as to how terrible it looked before, there it is, before and after. If you want to learn more about Resolve's new features, you should check out my library of different training titles at rippletraining.com.